Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your favorite realtor, Ruth Marquise Haynes. Um, today I wanted to talk about the one thing that changes everything, all right? So we're talking about building, you know, a foundation for wealth and buying a home and doing things with your life. But good morning. Um, the one thing that I realized the one discipline that changes everything is saving money. If you can save money, if you have credit issues, you can pay off your credit issues. You can deal with that and then time and money fixes it, right? If you can save money, you can pay your bills on time. If you can save money, you can take that trip. If you can save money, you can do so much with your life. So don't underestimate the power of saving money. Now you say, Ruth, that's hard, you know, stop. When you stop eating meat, that's hard. But saving money, you can do that a little bit at a time. <laughs> I'm just mad. It's my last day, y'all. Hey. All right. So, yeah. So, it's other things that's hard. But you got to understand that once you do this discipline, it will change so many other things for you. So, that's why I want us to talk about that today. Adjust my camera a little bit. All right. So, I spoke to a young lady and she was just telling me about her mother who before she passed how her mother took care of the family by her by she saved her money and she did like estate planning and stuff like that she had a will she did so many things but she only made twenty five thousand dollars and that goes to show you that some people can save money they only make twenty thirty grand and they have more money than the people that make eighty thousand dollars because that person is not able to save um, because they're spending or they built up their lifestyle so they have to spend and still living paycheck to paycheck. There's power in you know having that money. So um, in Gary Keller's book, it's the one thing. It's there's one thing in your life that changes everything, and that's saving. So let me give you three practical tips. Oh, by the way, the the with the um, the planning that the mom did, she was able to get everybody a duplex in the family, the sisters, the kids, everything. Like it was just amazing, such an amazing story, and it showed you the power. Like you don't have to have a whole lot of money; you just gotta get your financial education. Up. And don't get me started on how school is gonna teach you how to save your money. How school gonna teach you how to spend your money. How school gonna teach you how to budget your money and invest so you can have a financial. millions and millions of dollars if you spend them all then you spend them all then you still broke like everybody else so you got to be able to keep your money all right so it's not how much you make it's how much you keep so let me talk about three things so you can start this habit this discipline of saving money number one I want you to create the right environment that means I want you to kill the negative thoughts you can't be saying I can't save money I'm not good with saving money like and then save money it's not gonna happen right can I get some lights can I get some stuff right you agree like if you say something that's what it's gonna be so start telling yourself I'm gonna save money I'm gonna I'm gonna have a bank account five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars have some financial goals have some savings goals and just start hitting them one by one starting with a hundred dollars then moving on to two hundred sorry if it's shaky guys yeah so do all those things all right so create the right environment so you need to st st stay away from spenders <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. The people that all got a ball all the time. All the time they got a ball. They want to go here. They want to go there. Maybe you can't make that concert right now. Maybe you got to take three months out of your life to just say, you know what? I'm not spending money. I remember it was one year that I said, I'm not going to eat out at all. Um, and um, yeah, um, I said, I'm not going to eat out at all. And um, man, I didn't. So just do, do that. Create the right environment. Stay away from places. If you, you if you spend a lot of money at the mall, stay away from the mall for a little bit. Number two, create the right habits. Start small, discipline, and budget just your money. Um, yeah, you got to basically have a budget. You start small, discipline yourself, and just do it small. This is an action thing. This is not a theory. This is all action. So take these principles and move forward with it the last one is create the right mindset you might have to listen to um, I was talking to my brother and he was talking about eating healthy and stuff like that and he was saying like the main thing that helps him stay on track because I said after I stop eating this meat um you know I don't know what I'm gonna do next I might I might I'll, I'll never go back to eating the way I did before so because you know my mind and my body has changed so much I couldn't go back to the same old habits and he said you got to listen to like healthy podcasts or 
videos or whatever and I, I'm thinking like we could do the same thing with saving money listen to some podcasts and, and, and watch some videos and then you know listen to people in their mindset and what they do like people that are successful in doing the very thing that you want to do do listen to them and apply what they are teaching you have to make this your own education right and then the last thing is create affirmations um, so tell yourself, like, just write a list of things that you want to tell yourself. Like, you know what? I'm going to save $10,000. I'm going to save $20,000. I'm going to save $100,000. And, you know, my family is going to be well off. I'm going to have generational wealth to pass on to my kids. Say it to yourself every day and watch it start to come to life. If you like this video, like it, share it. And um, if you're interested in and you're ready to buy a home or you need some you have some questions that you want to ask please call me at 267-259-4639 call me or text me you guys have a great day i'll see you tomorrow bye